Hey everybody, I'm here to introduce the key events in Big Bang. Big Bang programs can be influenced by users pressing keys on their keyboards. In order to make your Big Bang program change with the user's keyboard interaction, called key events, add the following branch to your Big Bang program. The function that handles key events must always have the following signature. A key event is a specific string describing the character or description of the button pressed. For example, the A button would be represented as the string A, the up arrow key would be represented as up, etc. Let's revisit our previous Big Bang example of an increasing square. Let's change the program so that whenever the user presses the up arrow key, the square will increase in size faster, and when the user presses the down arrow key, the square will decrease. As usual, we will start with the signature, which is easy since all functions dealing with key events have the same signature. Then the purpose. We want to increase our world by 5 if up is pressed, or decrease it by 5 if down is pressed. And now the function. We always start with define, the name of our function that takes a world and a key event. This function is a good start, it certainly follows our signature, but if the world is less than 5 and the user presses the down arrow, the function will return a negative number, and there are no shapes of negative size, so it will cause an error. We can fix this mistake by writing it this way. Key equal huh takes two key events and returns true if they are equal. Now this function will work properly. If the world is less than 5, the if statement still checks if the key event is an up arrow key because it can still increase the world. Otherwise, the world remains unchanged. Now, to run this program, we add an on key clause and pass in the name of our key event function. Hit run. And now if we press the up and down arrow keys, we see it in action. If we click with our mouse or press any other keys, nothing will change the animation. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped. Until next time.